Hey everyone, glad you could join me today. You know, life's kinda like a game, right? And in this game there are these little side quests we all run into, mind games. Yep, they're like those little tricks your brain plays on you. Or sometimes, the ones other people try to pull. Let's break down five psychological mind games you might encounter daily and chat about how to spot them and what they're really all about. Our thoughts can be a maze, but within it there's wisdom to be found. Let's walk this path together, finding keys to unlock the puzzles we encounter. Mind Game 1, The Blame Game Imagine you're in the middle of a busy workday. The coffee machine is on overdrive, and your inbox is a wild jungle of unread emails. Suddenly a wild problem appears, and instead of teamwork, it turns into a game of not it. Someone's quick to point fingers and somehow it's pointing at you. But here's the twist, it wasn't even your mistake. Now it's super easy to get defensive, but here's a pro tip. Stay cool and collected. Throw a little fact check into the mix like, hey, let's double check that together and keep the game friendly. It's all about working together to untangle the knot, not about who tied it in the first place. In the grand scheme of things, it's not about winning arguments. It's about building bridges of understanding. It's about acknowledging that in the intricate web of human interactions, we all have a part to play and our choice of how we play that part can make all the difference. It's like a group project where something goes wrong. Instead of figuring out who to blame, suggest a quick meeting to review everyone's part. It turns the situation from pointing fingers to pulling together. By focusing on solutions rather than faults, you foster a sense of unity and shared purpose. This approach transforms a potential conflict into an opportunity for collaboration and mutual understanding. Mind Game 2, The Guilt Trip It's like when a friend says, you're going to the party, right? Because it just won't be the same without you, and you can almost hear the violin strings pulling at your heart. It's a tough one, because who wants to let their friends down? But wait, let's hit pause. Should you really feel bad about not going to every single hangout? Here's the thing, friendship isn't about keeping a tally. It's about understanding and respecting each other's time and choices. Next time you're guilt-tripped, remember it's okay to take care of you. Your buddies will understand, and if not, maybe it's time for a heart-to-heart -heart about expectations. Think of it like tending to your own garden. Just as you nurture your plants, you need to nurture yourself too. It's not selfish, it's a self-care. And just like well-tended garden, you will bloom even brighter when you prioritize your own well-being. Remember, a true friend respects your growth, just as you respect theirs. When you're thriving, it's easier to share joy and support with others. In this nurturing exchange, we find that our own strengths are amplified and our weaknesses gracefully accepted. Mind Game 3, The Silent Treatment You know, when someone decides the best way to deal with a problem is to, well, not deal with it, just pure silence. It's like when you text someone and all you get back is that glaring scene with no reply. Silence might seem like a brick wall, but sometimes it's just a sign that the other person needs a moment, or a few. Give them space, but also let them know you're all ears when they're ready to talk. It's about giving respect and hoping to get some back. That's how you build bridges, not walls. So think of the silent treatment not as a cold war, but more like a winter's pause. Just as the world goes quiet under the snow, sometimes our minds need that hush to figure things out. Silence isn't forever, and often the best chats come after the longest pause. In this period of stillness, let's embrace the chance to quietly recharge, understanding that every conversation doesn't need to be filled with words. Let this time be a reminder that our thoughts and feelings are just as valid as unspoken. And when we speak again, our words will have even more depth and sincerity. Mind Game 4, The Black or White It's when choices are presented as this or that, yes or no, with us or against us. But hey, life's got more shades than a giant box of crayons, right? So why limit our choices? Whenever you're cornered with an A or B ultimatum, take a step back. Ask yourself, is there a CD or maybe even an E option? Life's rich with the possibilities and sometimes the best answer isn't on the menu. You gotta write it in yourself. In essence, when life presents you with a simple either-or, 
It's an invitation to grab your compass of creativity and set sail in uncharted waters. Often the most memorable adventures and the most fulfilling answers are the ones you discover yourself beyond the edge of the map. As you venture into these new territories, you'll find that the real journey is not about the destination, but about the growth, the challenges overcome, and the unexpected joys found along the way. Mind Game 5, Playing Hero. It's when someone swoops in cape and all to save the day, except you didn't ask for saving. Like when you're doing a task and someone says, step aside, I'll handle it, even though you had everything under control. Helps great when you need it, but when it's more about showing off than helping out, it feels a bit off, doesn't it? Next time someone tries to play hero in your story, thank them for the offer, but let them know you're the main character in this scene. It's not about being ungrateful, it's about being capable. When someone overshadows your moment under the guise of help, gently remind them that your journey is yours to navigate. Appreciation for their willingness to assist is key, but so is asserting your own strength and ability. It's about finding the balance between accepting help graciously and owning your own story. So that's our dive into the sneaky world of mind games. They're part of the human experience, but knowing how to handle them, that's what sets you apart. Keep your eyes open, trust your instincts, and remember, every interaction is a chance to learn something new. Stay genuine, be kind, and I'll catch you on the next one.